The rookie managers present a finger puppet management TV show, John's Bistro. Episode 1, Introduction to Management. Welcome to John's Bistro. Welcome to John's Bistro, a successful small restaurant in 4th Street, St. Petersburg. The restaurant is located near the bay and close to the USF St. Petersburg campus. John's Bistro is an established business with a well-performing menu and friendly staff. The checkered red and white tablecloths are a window to another simpler time. Meet John. Meet John, the manager and owner. John has been in the hospitality business for most of his adult life. He saved enough money to invest in opening his own restaurant, a dream come true. John had no previous experience managing a staff and he had to learn on the go, but he is a natural transactional leader. To his benefit, he has a strong interpersonal skills and during his many years working in hospitality, he has developed analytical and problem solving skills. John has been improving in his managerial skills. Knowing his lack of experience, he had invested in management books and attended a number of management workshops, trainings, and conferences. He has been taking full benefit of working and living close to a university campus and the many learning opportunities that this offers. Hello, everybody. My name is John, and I'm the owner of this beautiful gem in downtown St. Pete. I started John's Bistro seven years ago, and I have continued to improve and grow the business. I enjoy experimenting with our menu, creating new drinks, and providing excellent customer service. When I started the restaurant business, I only had a cook and a helper. We managed, but with downtown growing as it is, our customer base continued to increase, and I had to invest in bringing more people to my team. Now we have a great and numerous team. We're all part of John's Bistro's family, and we care for each other. Sometimes, because of the level of personal involvement, it is hard to be the boss. I don't like giving negative feedback to my employees because I don't want to hurt their feelings. But I can get very frustrated when things are not done right and things can get a bit out of control. I'm proud of my team and how far we've come. I think that now we are a highly effective team, but there's always room to improve. I've been learning about management style, concepts, and how to be a better management and leader. I've been attending some workshops and learning more about how to be a better and more efficient boss. I want you to meet my team. This is my team, Jake, Stacy, and Hannah. Hello, everybody. My name is Stacy, and I am a junior at USF St. Pete. Don't tell anybody, but I'd much rather be hanging out with my buddies, watching my TV shows, sharing every thought in social media with all of my peers, but I need to make money to cover my expenses. John Bistro is okay, I guess. A job is a job, right? John and my co-workers are cool, but I don't like following orders, and I hate being bossed around. If only my parents weren't so selfish and would pay for my college expenses, then I wouldn't have to deal with this. Ugh. Don't get me wrong. I see how this can be a valuable experience and can help me in the future and blah, blah, blah. But it is so hard to leave my friends when they're having fun and I have to come to work. I have some good ideas and some things that I've learned during my classes that may be helpful to John and the team. I can see how they're concerned with the way business is slow. Maybe I will share some of my ideas with them. Hello, my name is Jake, and I'm a student at USF St. Pete. The best way to describe me is almost, is almost the complete opposite of Stacy. I'm shy and much rather be part of the background. When I finish school, I want to open my own business. I work hard, but one thing that I don't like is whenever John, Hannah, or one of my professors criticize my work. I work really, really hard, and I had wished that they would all see and appreciate this. Customers like me, because I'm quiet and listen to them. I guess that is a good quality to have as a bartender and waiter. My name is Hannah, and I am the assistant manager at John's Bistro. I have worked with John for quite some time, and I love the restaurant and the team. I tend to see the good in people, 
and the potential in our employees. For example, Stacy, our latest addition, she seems very self-centered, selfish, even spoiled. But I think underneath that facade, she's looking for an opportunity to belong. She will be perfect working to improve her brand image and social media. Oh, that she has the skills. I see how business is slow ever since our competition got stronger. This really bothers me. I think that we can do many things to improve and gain more customers. I will talk to John about how to invest in our group of employees so we can become a real, highly efficient team. We need to be very clear in assigning tasks to the best people to accomplish them and we will need to differentiate our small restaurant. That should be our organizational goal in order to increase our business. Hmm. I think I'm going to go talk to John now.